glad you could kind of join us here today. Uh, uh, this is uh, well uh, going to be information uh, about the T-Mobile Home Internet, uh, the app a little bit. Um, it's going to also kind of talk about the um, some of the settings that they have, the Wi-Fi settings, and how these could help or hinder um, our connection of third-party devices. Um, kind of like the uh, uh, cameras or or other things um, that might be connecting to their cameras, Roku sticks, uh, video, those type of things. Um, so, uh, so we're going to talk about a couple of those things here. Um, the uh, The name of our company is uh, Mr. IT Event Technologies. Our main business is, uh, of course, with lighting, drape, uh, seminars, and things like that. Uh, but uh, we, we, our background is actually uh, in technology, so uh, we're just going to spend a little bit of time um, talking about this device because we do use it uh, for streaming when we're out sometimes, and and uh, we, we uh, use it for a couple other things. So I uh, just wanted to uh, let you know what we are and who we are. Um, now, uh, let's go ahead and, and go and pull up the... Uh, this is the uh, the desktop app uh, for the home internet, or not the desktop app. This is the uh, the phone app for the home internet. Um, uh, but in order to kind of get into a little more the depth of the Wi-Fi settings, it's really not conducive to see it off of a mobile device. Um, when you pull this up here, you can see it really wasn't designed to uh, fit um, well. I mean, you can make it work if you had to. Um, you know, but uh, it's really not that it wasn't built to be viewed on the mobile device. So so we'll have this up and we'll have it over to the side um, a little bit. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get um, a desktop view up and uh, that way it'll be a little easier for you to see and a little uh, easier for me to um, work with as well. So. Um, let's go ahead and get the the app back up here, and then we'll go ahead and get the uh, desktop view up here so we can take a look at it. Um, let me go ahead and um, we're going to go to the admin portal. I already have it up on the other screen here, uh, but the admin portal here is uh, you know uh, 192.168.12.1. Uh, uh, that'll get you to the uh, T-Mobile Home Internet uh, gateway and get you connected. Um, and to give you some information on uh, what's going on, uh, some basic information here. Um, some of this information um, you can actually get from uh, from your actual um, app as well if you wanted to try to get uh, some information as far as like, uh, you know, which devices, hardware settings, gateway information you can get that from here as well um, you know if you really wanted to kind of dig in there a little bit it'll show you the LTE signal as well as the 5G um, and just as a side note uh, on these devices the uh, LTE is considered the primary signal and the 5G is considered the secondary signal now uh, again we're not spending a whole lot of time here um, on this particular Thing. We'll, we'll talk about them in subsequent video, but for for the time being, our, our purpose here is to talk about the Wi-Fi settings and um, how we could hinder ourselves uh, or help um, while, when we're connecting some devices to it. So uh, first things first, let's go ahead and pull, let's go to the network settings here, and then we're going to go to Wi-Fi. Um, uh, right now, this is a dual uh, gateway. Uh, this, again, is the Nokia 5G gateway from um, T-Mobile, T-Mobile offering. And so um, it runs a 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz internally. And it uses the LTE and the 5G um, signal externally. So, um, so that's what we have here. Uh, something um, to be said about the... Uh, the gateway as we kind of uh, get here, of course, when you, you get to this spot here, you know, you have to put in um, admin and the admin password. 
that you have for your device. I have another video if you are having a problem with your admin uh, password. So uh, we do have another video with that um, if you are running into some issues um, with that. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh, there, uh, this this particular device is uh, unique from a standpoint that um, it has a bonded uh, SSID or default SSID that comes with it. It'll have the word T-Mobile dash and uh, maybe four digits or so behind it. Um, that particular SSID is bonded with three uh, SSIDs. It's uh, SSID one which is a 2.4 gigahertz, SSID 5, which is a 5 gigahertz, and SSID 9, which is 5 gigahertz. Uh, the reason I mention that is because uh, sometimes, um, you know, I've run into people that wanted to disable a, um, a particular, uh, they, they, they put a, uh, a router behind this device and they wanted to disable the broadcast so you don't even uh, see this particular one. So um, the the reason I mentioned that is bonded with all three is that you need to disable all three of those in order for the system to not broadcast broadcast at all. So an example would be if you look here for SSID one, uh, which is the 2.4 gigahertz here, and we can if we move down a little bit, you'll see that. Uh, that this is one that is uh, broadcasting out if right here where it says enable SSID. If we turn this on, uh, we basically have uh, disabled the broadcast of the 2.4 gigahertz of the default T-Mobile-5644. However, if you do not go in and disable that same thing for the other uh, two that I mentioned, which is SSID 5, you would have to disable that and save it, and you have to save it between each one. And then also, uh, if you drop down here, you would have to go to the SSID 9 and disable that one as well. So you would have to disable that as well and save changes. So uh, that's something that I uh, wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. Um, so the, the thing I wanted to talk about uh, when it comes to um, some of these third-party devices, the, the easy low-hanging low fruit would be to discuss the difference between a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5. Um, this, again, is bonded into one signal, and it relies on the actual uh, device to pick you know, which type of connection that it should use. So um, I'm just going to pull up some like a device that we have here. It shows you, you know, what, um, you know, that I'm connected to it. And so this device is going to basically try to connect to the best that it can use. So if this device can use a five gigahertz, it'll try to connect to five. And if that's the best signal at the time or a 2.4, um, some devices can't uh, connect and some of them can't. Uh, change, you know, between uh, doing that. So um, you may have to create your own separate 2.4 gigahertz uh, on this device. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a separate video as well. Um, the uh, Now that I actually have this up, I wanted to talk about the managed schedule real quick. This is just a pro tip. Um, you can manage the schedule um, as far as like certain devices on your network. Um, uh, if you wanted to say that these devices should only work during this particular time period, this is where you would do that. You would do that from the devices uh, tab in the home internet app. So um, let's go ahead and, uh, and move on. Uh, real quick, some of the things that will cause you to have a problem uh, with uh, other devices on the network um, would be that how is it being broadcast on which transmission mode? Some devices are real specific, um, you know, the things that it can use or can't use. And as you can see, uh, they do have some options. Uh, most of the time it's on auto. 
but uh, there have been some cases where you would have to go in and change that. Uh, the other thing, uh, when you look at channel, now this again is the 5 gigahertz I'm looking at right now. Uh, when we look at this, it's set up to auto channel, and there are some devices that you're going to want to put specific uh, channels uh, when you're actually are connecting to them and that's going to be from the manufacturer okay that's going to be from the manufacturer now I don't know if you notice that the channels here are really high uh, that's because this is going to be uh, the high band of the 5G if we were using um, say one of the other ones um, you'll see that um, this should actually change the channel so uh, this is the low band of it and then there's also the high band of the 5G. Uh, and just a key point, that 5G that we're talking about is not does not have anything to do with the tower speed. This is all internal to your network. So it's all internal to your LAN network. Um, the other thing that, uh, that will come into play um, sometimes here is going to be your security level. Um, the uh, the encryption mode that we have here. Um, some devices, especially older devices, aren't able to use WA, uh, WPA. Um, so, you know, th they actually have a WPA3 on here, which is the, the highest one that they have at the moment. And so um, you're going to be mindful of some of these settings um, and you'll find out the best or the best <coughs> source <clears throat> from finding out is going to be to contact the vendor of your camera or a baby monitor or, or things that you're trying to connect to the network because you want to find out um, say hey I'm having a problem connecting now this is uh, this is based on the premise that you have other devices on your network that are connecting that you're having a problem connecting one a particular brand type model whatever that is so um, that's uh, that's when you're going to want to reach out to them as opposed to T-Mobile um, to get that particular device connected um, as you can see here um, this uh, 2.4 gigahertz the B G B and G N G and our auto there so um, you're going to want to make sure um, that you can connect uh, the last thing I want to kind of talk about here um, on these devices is that is you can see that there is not a advanced mode. So um, a lot of times when you're looking for certain things on these particular 5G gateways from T-Mobile, um, things like uh, NAT, uh, you know, DMZ, uh, the DHCP server, uh, things like that that you would normally see on, on routers, uh, that information, um, it's not missing. It's, uh, it's not here. So uh, this is something that it's, you're not able to modify on these 5G devices. So um, just wanted to uh, let you know that. Uh, just in uh, just in another note, uh, when we talk about the broadcasting here, about enable the broadcast or enable the SSID, um, on the T-Mobile other device, the Arcadian device, um, you are not able to turn off the broadcast uh, from that device. So, <clears throat> and uh, uh, like this device, you are able to add additional, like a guest network or our, our camera network, if you look at my uh, network here, I, I do have a camera network, which is the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, specifically for some of my cameras that require that, um, as well as uh, my bonded network. Um, so on the Arcadia device, um, it is not available. You can split the bonded uh, default into the 2.4 and to the five separately you can do that but you're not able to um, create additional uh, network so i uh, just wanted to let you know about that now if you have any specific questions about something that i may be able to assist you with please make sure that you comment um, in and um, uh, below and 
if you like the video, uh, please let us know that you like it. So um, we're going to kind of move back into some of our roots and our like our bag of tricks, like I say, um, and talk about some more technical things um, as opposed to more AV related uh, items. Um, so uh, we hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, my name is Matthew and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.